What's going on? My name is Dustin Smith, better known as Bones, and welcome to Bonesy TV, where I will be giving you my one year review on the True L20.1s in under three minutes. Starting now. Kicking this review off, we're talking quality, and as to be expected with gear built out of the Lafay factory in Canada, the quality is top notch. The pads have virtually zero signs of wear and tear, and they are holding up fantastically. I will say you need to be careful with the Velcro on the FRS because you will start to see some fraying if you're not careful with it. But holding up just as well as the pads is the blocker and the only sign of wear and tear on the glove is the typical wear spot on the palm and one of the Velcro tabs on the back is starting to lose its strength but that's to be expected with over a year of use. But wrapping things up with the gloves, the blocker is still an absolute tank with some incredible finger protection and I am still very impressed with the level of protection that I get from the Pro Palm Extra uh, on the glove while still being able to open and close the glove very easily. Now quickly moving on to the performance of the pads, I will say that there has been a little bit of separation from the five hole seal compared to when I first got them and how perfect that seal was right out of the box. But compared to pads that I've had in the past, there's a very minimal lift at the top of the pad when you're in the butterfly. And when it comes to the seal after wearing them for this amount of time, I can definitely say I'm still impressed with the seal and the slide is still awesome. I do, however, still get some moments where I get that gap at the boot that I mentioned in my six months review, which I will link in the description below. But one of the big changes that I've made to these pads is how I strap them up. I've talked to a handful of people that have had some under rotation issues and I've definitely experienced the same thing, but it was pretty rare and seemingly random. But after talking to my buddy Steve Prokos, who had spoken to a close friend of the Lefebvre family by the name of George, he recommended loosening the top strap of the FRS as far as it'll go and then taking the elastic off of the knee block and moving it to the top of the FRS and connecting it to the outer flap. After doing this, I really felt like it made the pad more stable and it really helped with the rotation issue. Now that's not to say that it removed the issue completely, but I really do think it helped. But after over a year of some pretty heavy use, I am super happy with this entire set and I couldn't be happier with how well they've held up over time. But there you have it, hopefully right on time, maybe a touch over, but I hope you enjoyed this quick little one year review. If you have a set of L20.1, let me know what you think about this new strapping system. And if you've actually tried it yourself, let me know what you thought about the results. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and as always, we'll see you around.